So what's up there everybody? So a couple of weeks ago I started working on a video uh, where I was comparing the Blackmagic Pocket 4K to the 6K camera but also the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro G2. I threw them up in the mix and there were some things that were surprising me. Now this is not that video, this is only a thought that I had afterwards and that is that it actually astonished me how big the difference in resolution between the Pocket 6K and the 4K and also to be honest uh, to the Ursa Mini Pro G2 which is 4.6K and it is because I was thinking of the resolution as a videographer and as videographers we think of 2K, we have Full HD, we have H HD, we have SD, we have 6K, we have 8K. I mean there are, the difference in resolution doesn't sound to be as big as it actually is. I mean of course if you go from 2K to 4K it sounds like you're doubling up but to be honest you're going from 2 megapixels to 8 megapixels more or less in, in 4K. And here is where I actually got mind blown because I was, I was always thinking as a videographer and I started thinking as a photographer. Okay, if you're going from uh, 2 megapixels in Full HD to 8 megapixels in 4K, what is actually happening when you're going to 6K? When, to be honest, if you go from 4K to 6K, you're going from 8.8 .8 megapixels in 4K to 21.2 megapixels when you're shooting 6K. And this is more or less the difference in resolution that I saw when I was doing some of the testing between the Pocket 4K and the 6K. And this actually got me thinking, is the Pocket 6K a much better, better choice than the Pocket 4K? Now, I'm not bashing on any of these cameras. I love them both. I really love the Pocket 4K. I really love the Pocket 6K. Now, the Pocket 4K is, is basically the best a budget version of a camera you can get. I mean, for the price, it is the best camera, bar none, you can't even come close. But even if the Pocket 6K is actually double the price of the 4K, for most people, I think the Pocket 6K is a better choice. And that is exclusively because of the resolution. There are some other differences between the two, two cameras, uh, which I'm gonna show in that video that I'm working on. But the resolution of 6K, to 4K is such a jump and I would say that it could also be the sweet spot when it comes to resolution because we're going from 8.8 .8 megapixels we're going to 21.2 megapixels and if you're looking at the image of an 8K sensor or an 8K image we're talking about 33 megapixels and is that overkill for some people it is uh, for me it actually would be but when seeing the difference in resolution between these two cameras and what you can do with that image in post is quite astonishing. Now in the real world the difference might not be as large because if you're watching this video on a phone you probably can't see the difference but if you're looking at this video on a laptop or even on a 5k screen as I do sometimes the difference will be astonishing. So if you're thinking about getting the 4k or the 6k I think this is actually a thing to think about because even frame grabs on the 6k you will get a 21 megapixel image comparing to an 8.8 .8 megapixel image. So, so from now on I've started thinking about resolution when it comes to video a little bit more like a photographer because that's actually when you get the difference in resolution going from as I said going from 4k to 6k might not sound as it is a big deal but it is actually a very a very big deal at least according to me does everybody need it of course not am I gonna be shooting more on the 6k now that I actually understand probably to be honest because there are so many things you can do with the 6K image. So I would love to know what you think about this matter and does 6K actually matter uh, compared to 4K and is it maybe the perfect resolution uh, for video makers as of right now? Uh, write me in the comments or add me on Instagram. My name there is Arbor. And please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, see you soon. Bye bye.